Hey everybody, Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with another Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben, and this will be five minutes or so. Um, not Wesley so, but maybe. Maybe Wesley so will join us in the Five Minutes with Ben. Then we'll have to change the name of it. Okay, anyway, enough of my stupidity. This is a game, Nakamura versus Carlson from the St. Louis Rapid in 2020. And I was very impressed with how Carlson finished the game with tactics. So in this position, black is up a pawn, and it's a pretty strong pawn. Okay, can't argue with that. But white has an attack down the F file. So like if it was white's move, knight takes F7, sort of crashes through. And if I was black, I would be worried about that. Okay, but Carlson um, just played like 100% tactics. So he didn't worry. He played the move rook c3, attacking Nakamura's queen, and forcing the queen off the f file. So that's excellent, uh, because now f7 won't be under attack. The white queen doesn't have any safe squares on the f file. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, Nakamura played queen e2, which attacks the pawn on c2. He's got three pieces, one for each of the c pawns. So he's attacking the c pawn again. And probably if, if, uh, Carlson defends the C-pawn. White can play knight e4, attacking the rook, and maybe get his knight to a good square like c5 or d6. Possibly even f6 and try to get some mating attack. Okay, but Carlson had none of that. He played queen takes b4. He, he didn't want to do anything that would allow any counterplay. And here, uh, Hikaru did something um, which hastened his defeat. Uh, of course, the obvious move is to play um, rook takes uh, c2. And uh, if, we play, if we play rook takes c2, uh, black has the move knight e3, which is a very aggressive move. Rook takes c3 is forced. Queen takes c3. And not only is black a pawn up, the e5 pawn is attacked, and black is threatening queen c1 or queen a1 check, followed by knight g4 check. Um, so black, black would be winning here. Okay, so instead of taking on c2 and losing to knight e3, Nakamura decided to defend his g pawn, or so he thought, with the move king h2. Okay, that defends the g pawn. Um, I thought it defended the g pawn. And Carlson said, I'll, I'll take that g-pawn. So he plays like his first like sort of nice tactic. And the idea is if you take the rook, which Nakamura did, then queen take, queen a3 check, forks the king and the rook on c1. So white played king h2, black played queen takes uh, c1. Now again, uh, I mean, black should play Queen takes c2, um, but it just loses to rook takes. I'm sorry, queen takes, rook takes, and just like rook c7. And black has a winning endgame. Black has an extra pawn. He's got a great knight. There's an isolated pawn here. I have two to one on the queen side. And the engine says it's a very easy win. Okay, I would think it would be tough, but engine says, no, it's not tough. Okay, but queen takes c2 make, makes the most sense. Okay, instead... Uh, Nakamura played a mistake. He played queen c4. He wants to get an attack. He knows the end game is lost. So he figures, well, I'll just take with the rook. Maybe I'll get queen c8 check in. Maybe I'll get some attack. Maybe I can sack on f7 and get some kind of perpetual. You know, something aggressive. And unfortunately for Nakamura, Carlson played another tactic. He played the move rook c7 stopping queen c8 check and defending his pawn. The queen has to move. The queen went to b5. Nakamura is threatening queen e8 check and rook takes f7 and white is winning. And I'm sure Nakamura saw rook c7 when he played queen c4 and he thought this would be a really strong threat and black would have to stop it. And Carlson did stop it. Pause your video and try to find the winning move that Carlson played, which stops the threat of queen e8 check and rook takes f7 check. And we're back. And hopefully you found the move Carlson did. Carlson played queen takes g5, taking the knight. 
which means the F7 pawn has sufficient defense, and now my pawn's going to promote. So if you take my queen, I make another queen, and I'm up a piece, and F7 is sufficiently defended. So after queen takes knight, Nakamura resigned. So instead of losing in a long endgame, he lost quickly because I think he missed queen takes g5. Anyway, Carlson's pretty good. That was a good rapid game that he won. And they go back and forth in rapid and blitz. They both win a lot of games. But that was at the St. Louis Rapid in 2020. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This has been 5 Minutes with Ben. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.